artists. Today we are going to make a beautiful birdie stack. We have three little birds stacked on top of each other and we have some flowers. So we're going to draw that today. I want you to get a dark colored crayon. So I don't have black, but I do have the color blue and that might work just fine. But if you have the color black, go ahead and I want you to find the color black. Actually, there we go, I got black. Okay, now I'm going to write my name. And then flip it over and give me a thumb up. We are going to draw three little birds. And the birds are stacked on top of each other. First, we're gonna draw one at the top, and then the middle, and then the bottom. So I'm gonna start by making some lines to help me. So I make a line, a dot on the left, all the way at the top, and a dot on the right, all the way at the top. Looks like my paper has some eyes. And I'm going to actually make a big rainbow line to start the shape of my bird. So this line's gonna go up and down and meet that other dot. And then my line's gonna go past the dot and then meet it back at the other dot. So it almost looks like a big teardrop. So that's the shape of my first bird. Then I'm gonna go underneath that bird and I'm gonna make two dots right in the middle. One and two. This is the middle of the page. And then when we're done, we're gonna make one at the bottom. So leave enough room for the one at the bottom now this time I'm gonna start on the left side. Last time I started on the right side, we're gonna start on the left side. And we're gonna make another rainbow line up and then meet up the dot. Go up, meet up the dot. Now I'm gonna go past the dot and then I'm gonna go back to where I started. And now I have the second shape of my bird. And I have one more bird to do. So we're gonna do like we did before with the two dots. And this time I'm gonna start on the right because last time I started on the left. So I'm gonna go up and then meet it back at the dot. And then what am I gonna do with that dot? I'm gonna go straight through it and then go back to where I came. We're gonna stop right here and I'm going to check to make sure everybody has three teardrop shapes for their bird. Now we're going to draw the details inside of the bird. I'm going to make a line that goes in between all three. This is gonna be the line for his wing. Then each of these lines get the letter U that builds off of that line. So, and there's his feather. So I'm gonna start on this side, go down and back up and around. Down back up and around. So there's his three feathers. What is my bird missing? He has a body, he has feathers. What is he missing? He's missing some eyes, he's missing a beak, and he's missing a tail. So let's make his eyes, and the eyes are, this is the tail, so we don't wanna make the eyes back here. We wanna make the eyes where there's a nice, big, curved line. So we're gonna make a circle for his eye, and then another circle inside that's colored in, that's one eye. 
Let's do another eye over here on the right side. Can even make his eyes a little bit bigger. I made it look like he's looking up. And then the last one's at the bottom. Another circle. And then an eye. And then an eye. I'm gonna come around and check to see if you guys all have eyes and a wing in the middle. So we have an eye, we have a wing. We need a beak so that he can make his chirp chirp sounds. And we're going to be using a triangle for this. So I make a triangle right at the end of his, his head and I go a lot, one line, a diagonal line, and then a line cupping back in. There's one beak. I can even make the line in the middle so it looks like he can talk. Let's do another one. This one is by this guy's head. He's all looking to the right. I have a diagonal line and then another diagonal line and then I can give him a line in the middle too so he can talk. And let's do the last one at the bottom. Diagonal line, another diagonal line, and a line in the middle. My birdies are coming along. Now they look like birdies, but they are missing their tail feathers. I'm gonna come around and check on you to see if you need help with your birdie's beak. Now we can go chirp, 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 chirp. Okay, Mona. My birdie needs what now? Is tail feathers. So we're going to make some bumpy lines. And you can make your tail feathers as crazy as you want or as simple as you want. But we're just gonna make some bumps go up and back down. There's one tail feather up and back down. Two tail feathers and three. You can make as many as you want. I'm just gonna make three. Let's do his other tail feathers too. One, two, three. He's looking a little bit like a fishy, but don't worry, he'll look like a birdie in a minute. One, two, three. So my birdies can fly, they can talk, they can see. The only thing they can't do right now, they can't walk very well without any feet. So we have to make them some feet. And the feet are kind of easy if you guys see. Their feet are, uh, they're standing on top of each other because they're super silly. So we need to make sure that they are, they look like they're standing on top of each other. So my legs are just gonna go all the way down until they meet the other birdie. There's two lines to meet the birdie. Let's do one and two. So there's one birdie leg. He's standing on his uh, friend there and his friend's looking at him like, why are you standing on top of me? But he shouldn't talk because he's also standing on his friend. And this guy's doing all the work down here because he is holding everybody up. So his legs go all the way down to the bottom of the page. Now that we have our birdie, we can draw some things in the background before we move on to painting our beautiful masterpiece here. So I'm just gonna make some zigzags on the ground for grass. You can make some big zigzags for grass. I also have some room here for some flowers. So I'm gonna make a spiral right there. And a spiral right there. I'm gonna turn them into flowers. You guys ready to see how to turn a spiral into a flower? Let's go. Bump. And I go up and around another bump. And I keep making bumps around my spiral until I have a flower. If you have a better way of making a flower, go for it. I wanna see how you make a flower, but I'm just gonna make some bumps. 
that go all the way around my flower. And my flowers, they're floating around in this yellow paper. We don't want them floating around. We want them to be stuck to the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a line that goes all the way down, but I'm gonna make a fun line and I'm gonna make a wavy line that goes all the way down. But I wanna make two wavy lines and maybe they repeat. See, watch how it repeats right next to the other one. Now I have a really cool funky flower that goes all the way taller than these three birdies. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. All the way down. Now my masterpiece is almost complete. I can add some leaves to my flower if I want to. You can also give them a big bump and then a line in the middle. Or you can make it so that it curves and then it meets it back at the flower with another curve and a point at the top and a line in the middle. But that's totally up to you. My birdies are looking really jazzy and they are ready for some color. So I'm gonna walk around and check to make sure everybody's ready before we move on to painting. Now that I am ready to paint, I'm gonna get myself comfortable. I'm gonna get my beautiful painting ready on the table. And I'm going to wipe off my paintbrush so it's nice and wet. I choose the color that I wanna start with. I wake up color, I'm gonna wake up red. And then I'm going to paint, first I'm gonna start with the top bird. Now you can make the top bird whatever color you want to. I'm going to start with mine. I'm going to make it red. Maybe his feather's a different color than red. Maybe he's got a blue feather. Now my paper is a little yellow. So it's gonna make not might not look exactly blue, but still looks pretty good. Then my beak, we can make that beak wake up orange. My orange needs to wake up, and I can make the beak orange. And his feet can also be orange. Maybe the tail is we'll make the tail also red. But maybe another birdie, maybe his tail's a different color. Maybe he has multiple colors. Maybe he's a rainbow bird, right? There's a lot of choices we have here, guys. All right, now that my first birdie's done, I can move on to my next birdie, and I'm gonna make him purple. Wake up, purple. Now, it might not look purple. It's gonna look a little brown, but still looks actually pretty purple. Pretty happy about that. how this blue looks. Oh, nice blue bird. Got my three little birds standing on each other. All right, now that my 
birdies are done. Oh, I really like that bottom birdie. That war that blue really looks nice on the yellow paper. I've got his beak. What do you guys think? What should his feather color be? Hmm, I'll make it red. All right, now my birdies are done. I can move on to my flowers and then the grass. Then I'm all done with painting today. I gotta paint my stem. Don't forget to paint your wavy line. Larry's gonna love those wavy lines. He loves wavy lines. All right. And then we have a, our flower. That orange looks really nice, so I'm gonna add some of that orange in the center. Could leave it like a yellow flower, or you can paint it. I'm actually going to see how this white works out. Nice. Actually, I can paint my flower in white. I like that idea. Then I have one more flower, then I'm all done. Now, hey guys, where does this go when we're done? On the drying rack. When you're done, you can work on a new painting. Maybe you wanna make some more birds and paint them. Totally up to you. These masterpieces came out amazing and I cannot wait to see them all. Great job.